Today, I'm going to show you how to properly butcher a snapping turtle before he butchers you. Okay, so you got your snapping turtle. Uh, a lot of people, what they like to do is purge them. You know, they keep them in like a, a barrel or a tub of water, you know, for about a week. And uh, as long as the water is deep enough where he can't get his feet on the bottom and he'll grab the top and he'll do a pull up and he'll get out. So you make sure like it's either covered or you have a uh, water that's just deep enough where when he comes up for air, he's got a, he can't touch the bottom. So you can use like a barrel, uh, a stock tank, one of those uh, koi ponds, whatever. It doesn't really matter as long as it's deep enough. And the purpose of purging is you want to keep him in there for about a week. Uh, don't feed him. He's going to digest everything that he ate, his last meal, uh, muskrat, ducklings, whatever it is. And uh, once that water comes clean and it's clear and there's no more like crap floating around in it, then the turtle is ready to butcher. So is it, uh, is it good to purge? Absolutely, it's, it's really good. Reason being is when you're cutting that meat, you know, and uh, you don't have to worry about puncturing any of the, uh, the guts or the organs where you're gonna have its last meal just leak out onto the, onto the meat. But uh, is it necessary? Absolutely not. If you're good with a knife, just make sure you don't puncture the gut or the intestines, you know, just cut it all out, throw it out, and then, you know, you don't have to worry about any, uh, any of its digestive last meal getting all over your meat. So, you got your turtle, whether it's purged or not, first things first, hose them off. So that's what we're going to do right now. Jeez, this guy's nuts. All right, so you wanna hose off the turtle. Make sure you get rid of any like debris, dirt, any crap that's on them. Just get them nice and clean. That way it doesn't uh, mess up the, uh, the, the table when you're cutting them up. He's actually enjoying this, so don't feel bad for him. All right. Now it's time to dispatch the turtle. Uh, the best technique to do it is with a 22 rifle. Uh, shoot them right, right in the head, and that'll totally lights out. It'll freaking just stun them, kill them. It just he won't bite you. He won't fight it. He's he's gone instantly. So um, I got the 22 right here, a little 22 rifle. I'm just gonna pop him right in the head, and uh, that's it. All right, once you shot him, and now he's done, um, if you look at him, he is not kicking. Lights out. He is, he's, he's done. That's the best way of dispatching him. He doesn't feel a thing. He's not fighting you. Uh, a lot of times people want him to bite a stick, and then they try and behead him, like, as if you're ISIS. That's nah, not good. Just shoot him right in the head. And uh, what you want to do now is get him by his tail and hang him upside down. Tile loop with a string, just like this. Put it around his dinosaur looking tail. Just like this. And you just hang them up. Just like that. And uh, let him bleed out. Now's a good time to cut his head off. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, <clears throat> once you cut the turtle's head off, uh, hang him upside down and you'll see he's just dripping uh, Just let all that blood drain out of his meat. You know, that's what you want to do um, Don't worry about cutting him right away. You know, it's gonna take a while for all those muscles to die But uh, now's a good time to wash them off again. Get any grass that's on them off Clean his feet Clean his shell So if you want good meat, that's key, is just keeping the animal and the workplace clean. You don't want any grit or dirt on your meat. It just ruins the whole thing. So. All right, that's it. Just let him, uh, just let him hang until he stops uh, bleeding.
All right, the tool's drained out. Um, what you need is a real heavy duty sharp knife. Make sure it's nice and sharp. Now, this turtle's got no head, he's drained out, he's got no blood in him. His heart still beats for five days if you just left him just like this. Um, I mean, they have a very super slow metabolism. And the reason being is um, all, all reptiles, especially reptiles that live underwater, um, their muscles need very little bit of oxygen to survive. So when he comes up and he takes a gulp of air, he is good. His muscles are good on that little gulp of air for an hour. So you can imagine now he's not breathing for an hour. His muscles are still going to be alive. You know, two hours, eh, they're still alive, you know, but they're, they're, they're starting to hurt for oxygen. Three hours, now the muscles are dying. Four hours, they're still alive but dying. That's why this thing, when you're cutting him up, he's going to be fighting you. He don't feel a thing. He, his, his, all of his nerve endings are not attached to his brain. So he has no feeling whatsoever, but it's just the reaction. That's how the muscles react when something pokes him, he's going to have a reaction to it. So this thing has no feeling whatsoever. So that's why when you're cutting it up, he may fight you. He's going to fight you. So that's why the very first thing to go are his claws. We've got to take his feet off. So see, he's still, he's, this guy's arm wrestling me right now. But he has no idea. It's just the muscle working on its own, knowing that if something grabs his turtle, like say another bigger turtle grabs him, his first reaction is to pull back, you know? So that's the muscles reacting. So we'll go right in that joint. All right, I'll take this one in. All right, maybe I'll take this one. Okay, maybe this one. See what I mean? This guy's fighting me. All right, now all four feet are gone. Now he can fight me all he wants. He's not going to hurt me with his nubs. But these claws, they do hurt. So that's it. Throw them in the garbage. breastplate where it meets the carapace you just want to cut this right here and right here with your heavy duty knife cuts pretty easy there's like a little line that you need to follow and just go right along that shell And then you just go right along the hole, all along the edge of this, this breastplate. You're going to cut just like this, like this, like this, like this, and then it'll just pop right off. knife helps out too because it's it could bend and stuff so flay knife works really good for this that's it there's this breastplate all right what you have here is a lovely bowl of turtle meat so be careful, don't dig too deep because his organs are there, his uh, intestines and stomach, you don't want to cut it. So just get each lump of meat and just kind of work it away from the rest of the body. Use a sharp knife. Sharper the knife, the safer it is. I'm going to go in between the joints.
try to remove the meat off of the skin as you're cutting it off. You don't have to take like the whole leg off and then skin it. What you can do is just skin it right off, uh, meat right off of that skin. If you want, there's no wrong way or right way of doing it because you're not getting cuts out of this. You're just making little chunks for us, uh, you know, soup. That's it. Looks almost like a, a chicken thigh. And just hose it off a little bit. And just put it in a bowl and uh, we'll dice it up later. Yeah, you'll see there's a little bone, like a ball and socket, right in there. Put your uh, fillet, fillet knife right in there and just work it nice and easy and it'll just come right off. Don't fight it. Let the knife do all the work. There's the other. Looks just like a chicken thigh. Now I'm going to do the front quarters. Find that ball and socket. It just comes right out. Basically, it's just taking the skin off this meat. Don't worry about nicking up the meat. Like I said before, you're not making any special cuts. It all, it's all going to be diced up. So into little cubes. Move any fat, any membranes. Here's the front. Got a lot of meat off of that. One more quarter. The key is a very, very sharp fillet knife. It makes this job effortless. Here's another chunk of meat. Now there's some meat on the neck, a little bit on the tail, but then under all these guts, you've got the uh, like back straps. So. I'm gonna try and get a little bit more meat off of his neck. This neck meat is nice and white. Looks just like uh, chicken breast. Look how beautiful that looks. White meat means it's very powerful, but it can't, it gets tired quick. Dark meat, it's, it doesn't get tired uh, quickly but it's not that powerful. So that's why ducks have red breasts. They're not really that strong, but they don't get tired. And that's why turkeys, pheasant, quail, they have white breasts because their wing beats are so powerful and it gets them there quick, but they get tired. So that's why this turtle, he's got white neck muscles because it's real freaking quick to grab its prey, and uh, but it gets tired. He can only strike like, three, four times, five times in a row after that, he's exhausted. So, and his legs, they do all the crawling, so they never get tired. That's why they're dark. All right, I'm gonna go dump all these guts in the garbage, and then we'll get those back straps out. All right, so basically I just went over a garbage can and just poured all the guts out. I made little cuts as if I was like gutting a mini deer. So. Now, 
this in here behind these ribs is his back straps. So that's a lot of meat right there, and that's good meat. So we're going to take them out. All right, now the, the way I take these back straps out, his rib cage, this is his ribs right here, these lines, they're bone. So get a heavy duty knife, get a hammer, and you just pop them, pop those ribs on each side of that back strap. Just like that. Right along that spine. Just pry it up. Just cut it out. And it should just peel right up. Just give it a little help with the knife just to help when you peel it up. And it's real good looking white meat. I mean, you don't even have to use this meat in a stew or soup. You could even like fry it like little uh, strips. it and uh, just take the little bones out and uh, that's it basically you're done you got a big bowl of meat that's a lot of meat in there from this one turtle that's all edible once we debone it uh, there's still some right here on the uh, neck some good white meat so we're gonna pick that off And basically, that's it. I mean, you can get a little bit more off the base of the tail here. But there's also a lot of uh, tendons and sinew. So if you take the, the muscle out from the base of the tail, you got to do a lot of trimming because you don't want to start chewing on a tendon, you know? Just, yeah, not good. But it's a lot of meat on there. And... It's already basically diced up. It's all separated by tendons and ligaments and stuff. But yeah, if you could, uh, you know, work on it, take out some more. They're already in tiny little uh, cubes. And that's what it's gonna look like when you're done butchering it. All little cubes for uh, for the turtle soup. Yeah, basically that's it. Now you can cut the tail off, cut the neck off. You can keep the shell you want for uh, decoration um, best way to get these things clean power washer inside you hit it with a power washer meat comes right off of it and um, then what you could do is just um, put like a little uh, sealant on the shell and it'll last forever like this big one right here was in my tiki bar maybe eight years now and it's in great shape so that's about it that's how you uh, but you're a snapping turtle. Now I'm gonna show you how to dice up the meat and to little cubes and uh, that's it. And then I'm gonna have another clip on uh, us actually making the turtle soup. So it's gonna be really, really good. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna dice up this meat, debone it. All right, so you want your really Super sharp fillet knife. And wherever you see meat, just cut it up. Little cubes, little chunks. Any membrane, take it off. Don't want it. Just nice clean meat. That's it. Little cubes. Little bite sized cubes. That's it, just a little tiny piece like this. Nice little bite-sized morsels. Yeah, it's a shame that uh, 
turtle soup. It's it's like a dying thing. Back in the day, everybody had turtle soup. You go to a restaurant, diner, and uh, just nowadays they make it even more difficult. You know, back in the day, you were able to bring a snapping turtle to the back door of a, a diner, and uh, they'll buy it off you. Nowadays, that's illegal. You need a, a commercial license now. And uh, that just stops hundreds of uh, people from trapping turtles. So now these things, nothing's killing them. We just eliminated all these trappers from trapping them. And this population, the uh, turtle population is just gonna get bigger and bigger. And to some people, they think that's a good thing. But for us waterfowlers, that's a bad thing. It's bad. You know, I mean, snapping turtles have a, a purpose here. They've been here for millions of years. You know, they do clean up the dead fish and stuff that are on the bottom. But uh, they kill a lot of live fish, healthy fish, and most important, ducklings. Number one duck killer. So, this is a good way to control the numbers. And you're having a really good, delicious meal. And I have not met a single person that's tried snapping turtle soup, whether they like it or not. They, uh, every time they try it, they love it, like whether they know it or not. We fooled a lot of people. They, th they thought they were eating beef stew and they're raving about it. And then you tell them later it's turtle soup and they don't know what to say. You know, all they say is it's really good. Take any of that slime shit off, uh, any pieces of skin that you missed, take that off. Any tendons, sinew, anything that looks chewy, just trim it off. They say there's seven different types of meats on one uh, snapping turtle, seven different flavors. One muscle tastes like shrimp. Another one tastes like fish. Another one tastes like pork. One beef. One lamb, <clears throat> which I really don't like lamb unless it's on the barbecue. But to me, I just mix it all in and it's turtle. I don't want to bore the bejesus out of you, so we're definitely fast forwarding. That's it. Got a nice big bowl of uh, turtle chunks. And it's going to make a really, really good bowl of turtle soup. So, thanks for watching. And uh, go out there, grab some friends in uh, New Jersey. All you need is a fishing license to go get these turtles. Uh, there's just way too many of them out there. Just uh, have your buddies trap them all. You're allowed one a day. And uh, if you want to see more ducks in the sky, this is what you need to do. You need to trap these snapping turtles and um, just bring the numbers down. That way these ducks, instead of having one, two ducklings, they could raise a dozen, 10 of them, whatever. So ducklings don't die, they get killed. And this is the reason why they're getting killed. So, and uh, it makes an awesome bowl of soup. I'm gonna show you uh, in another uh, video on my favorite soup recipe. And if you're having a game dinner or uh, you want to have a bunch of friends over where, you know, a case of beer, eat some turtle soup, you know, it's uh, something good to do. So, all right. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Thank you. I knew I should have taken some more meat off of that tail. <laughs>